Hello everybody, I want to tell you about something which I've discovered only very recently um, today and as the more observant amongst you will notice, I'm wearing this necklace which is of course a breath controller. Um, in the old days there used to be uh, there used to be really expensive, complicated things, and there still are out there, which are, in other words, if you're a clarinet player or something, then you can use it to, as a controller to control your synthesizer. Breath controllers have a lot to, go, um, to, to say for themselves, and, and the reason they work so well um, is, as much as anything, because it gives you an extra pair of hands. You know that feeling when you're playing uh, a line here, you're using the mod wheel here to add vibrato? then you need that famous third hand, which no musician has, in order to add the expression. That's what this does. So all it does, it plug, plugs into uh, a USB port like this. It's plugged into the back of my keyboard here. The, um, you don't have to, in DP, I don't have to do any routing information whatsoever. If I go to the little control panel which comes with it, you can see that it's working. Look. A little blue ball going up and down. So the harder I blow, the more signal comes out. The most important one thing here is this. Which of the MIDI control um, messages do I send? Now, breath controller is, uh, defaults to two. That is a dedicated controller for breath control. So if, for example, I'm using something like this... Uh, sample modeling's um, saxophone, which, and the sample modeling stuff is absolutely perfect for breath controller. It's just, it adds that expression which so often in sample, with samples, you, you know, we're missing. And it just makes it sound more real because if you're a real musician and you're playing a string instrument or a brass instrument or wind instrument in particular, the volume and the timbre changes throughout the note. You know, you, you don't just go, it goes, and this allows you to change, uh, I can have, in other words, volume and vibrato change completely separately. So, so it's like a three-way axis. But you don't just have to use it for... It works brilliantly, really well with sample modeling stuff. But you can... And lots of other wind stuff. Suppose we change the controller to 11, which is just bog-standard expression. That means... Uh, when we play a string part, for example, where you have the classic problem, you've got two hands, you're playing an ensemble string part, how are you going to do the volume? Now, traditionally, you use this. You know, it's an expression pedal. Um, a lot of people find them quite hard to use. I'm one of them. I don't, you know, if I'm using my right foot for uh, the sustain pedal, I'm then using the left foot for this, it's and it doesn't feel very intuitive. You can, some people suggest doing it the other way around, so you use your right foot, which is probably more sensitive for the expression pedal, and then left foot for sustain. But why bother when actually you can do this? Look, if you play a chord... It gives you the third hand, which all keyboard players and sampled instrument um, players really need. You have to work quite hard, but that's quite nice because I feel I've actually done something. And it means at the end of the day that I feel I haven't just sat in front of my keyboard. I've really worked at my music today. So um, if you are looking for another way to add a little bit of extra zing and expression to your uh, keyboard stuff, get yourself one of these. Um, it's 100 euros, 
and it's 100 euros well spent. I'm really, really pleased with mine, and I'm using it. You probably noticed it lying around on the desk here in the past. That um, I use it quite a lot. Um, as I say, not just for wind stuff, but string stuff. Accordions work really well, because, of course, they'd have that sort of... Uh, that, that breathy thing. And you can use it for all kinds of wacky things. You can set it to any controller you like. At, um, I haven't got a controller set for please bring me a cup of tea, but I, maybe I could do that. Maybe I could play and have the controller set to request a cup of tea and then I don't have to stop playing. No, silly idea, sorry. Anyway, um, we'll be back uh, again. We'll take another look at controllers some other time because there's so much to say about controllers um, and other ways of doing it which don't involve this. Um, also, we'll come back and look at the sample modelling stuff, which is another revelation which has passed me by recently. A um, completely different way of approaching um, in, you know, virtual instruments. Um, but I'll talk about that on another occasion and give you a proper once-through with um, saxophone and things like that. Anyway, but meanwhile, um, go and experiment with a breath controller and have fun.